Yo, what is good guys? It is I, Professor Legends, back here with another Jurassic Ball Legends video for all of you. And today, we have quite the news here. So, so for both Legends and Dokkan. So, a Dokkan and Legends video at the same time. So, I'll start with Legends first, then go to Dokkan. So, for Legends, it says, Fusion's Arms and Zenkai Awakening is coming. Unlock all unique to boost this offense with increased key recovery and chance to inflict bleed on strike damage blast starts hit. It can also nullify abnormal conditions and reduce enemy key recovery when entering battle. So, so his looks like his third unique. Third unique. It's most likely going to have increased key recovery and it's 14 because most likely going to provide the debuffs for the enemy. At least that's what I think it's going to be. Let's take a look at Zamasu here. So these are stats. Um, offensive stats. Yeah, de defenses are actually still good to the day. Defenses are still what most units this state, most modern units have. So his defenses are actually quite good. Um, offenses, obviously Zamsu is, Zamsu is blast oriented, so yeah, overall stats are still pretty good to this day. Um, <coughs> not sure why I did it, but it is what it is. Then his, yeah, this is his, um, he draws the ultimate land solution. Um, I assume it's going to be two, once he gets a Zenkai, post Zenkai, I think the abilities are going to be Own health by 25%, key by 50. This will most likely stay the same. As, all, as always, 25 counts. Then, turn of radiance has one effect itself, according to the number of time counts the start. So, yeah, this. So, he still has 120% damage inflicted once he gets fully built up. So he is still very good to this day. He is still I wouldn't say very good but quite solid to this day. He's still a solid unit. And now with the Zenkai he's pretty much gonna be a core on featuring God Key. Pretty much gonna be the main core on featuring God Key. So, reduce damage speed by 40% and do not send me back to long range of the cover teams before the end of their strike out attack. So, strike and blast will have a chance to inflict bleed. So, I think that will be in a third unique along with the key recovery buff and then 14 will most likely provide the debuffs for the enemy. And John's bleed, I'd say around 10 to 20 percent. Then Q recovery, I would say around minus 40 percent. Then plus 20 percent key recovery. That's what I think is most likely to be the unique. And 150 percent to every single, and 150 percent added, plus an extra 30 percent added if against every single character in the game, as long as they're not Zamzu or Goku Black units. So this character is still very, still solid to the day. And now with Zenkai, he's going to be very, very, very good. Now, in terms of the Zenkai ability, I'd say it's most likely going to be Purple Future or Purple God Key. Although, it'll go with the formula with it being Purple Future. Most likely because of the LF Cell. So. Yeah, his kit is still, still very, very, very So, God Team Fusion don't really have a good, good purples, except the blues between Blue Vegeta from the Future Fight. The Future Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, so. 
So yeah, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for Legends. Yeah, the zombie is getting a Zenkai Awakening. So, with Legends done, let's move on to Dokkan. So for Dokkan, Tech Gogeta is the next Dokkan Fest for Global. LR Tech Gogeta is coming to Global as we speak. So, without further ado, let's take a roll at the clip. So that was the clip for AGL, Gotenks, and Tech Gogeta. So now um, let me tweak this. So yeah, AGL, Gotenks, and Tech Gogeta are coming to global. So here they are. That's fully in English. So, which pretty much introduces the new time limit, time limit category for global. So yes, with that, along with that means the time limit category is also coming to global. <coughs> <coughs> so, passive skill is now moment of decision, attack and defense plus 120%, which is demonstrated by 30%. Arjun performance are randomly changing keys for of certain types of rainbow keys for plus an additional key plus two per rainbow keys to obtain. Medium chance of launching additional super attack. And fusion can then be activated when HP is 70% or more starting from the force and from the start of battle once only. Active skill effect is the fusion. Super attack effect. Raise attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage to enemy. And ultra super attack is based tank defense on turn and causes mega colossal damage. So that is for Ted for Goku and Vegeta. Now for Tech Gogeta. And I'll see the links. Ah, same warrior ace, experienced fighters, same lineage, shocking speed, prepared for, for battle, first battle, legendary power. Categories, time limit, fusion, pure saints, joint forces, movie heroes, super saints, Kamamaha, otherworld warriors, final trump card, let it hope, and powerful comeback. Now for Tech Gogeta. 
when this alt they fuse. All these stats are the same. 16,000 HP, 16,000 attack, and 9,000 defense. Time limit or connect to hope, so, so obviously these still remain the same. Must see drama. Have skill, recovers 30% HP once only. Tank defense plus 150%. Attacks effective against all types, so there's the dog Gym mechanic. And great chance of performing the critical hit. So if you do get dupes, you'll want to aim for additionals. Key spheres of certain types of rainbow. Randomly changes key spheres of certain types of rainbow key spheres. Plus an additional key plus two per rainbow key sphere obtained. Key plus five reduces damage by 30%. And foresees enemy super attack for 5 turns from the start of the turn. When an enemy is hit by the character of the super attack, nullifies unarmed super attack to direct that character from that enemy for the duration of that turn. So, Link seals are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Kamamaha, Feather Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. So Link Star change are Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Saiyan Lineage, and Shocking Speed. If I remember that correctly, yep. So his Super Attacks are Race Attacking Defense. Transcend Kamamaha, raise tank defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to enemy. Then the ultra super attack is the Soul Punisher. Raise the tackling defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to enemy, and lowers attack and defense. So this guy is still going to be very, very good. Same percent chance to perform a crit. That is good. Now for AGL Gotenks. So his abilities are Summoning Cadre, keep us 3, stats 120%. Have skill is how about that? Attack defense. Attack defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack defense 70%. And higher chance of performing the critical hit when facing only one enemy. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. Time in category allies key plus three, attack defense plus 40%. His linked skills are the Innocent Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Feather Battle, Fuse Fighter, Fierce Battle. Categories Time Limit, Fusion, Hybrid Saiyans, Movie Heroes, Youth, Super Saiyans, Special Foe, Special Pose, Captain Warrior. So this guy is a support unit, just like most banner units are support units. Uh, uh, most of the banner units that are released along the Dugan Fests are support units. Then his super attack is the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack. Raises defense for one turn with and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning all enemies. So that is Tekajida and AGL Gotenks for their information. So yeah, and it looks like their premium is going to be released on Thursday. Because their, premium, their info gets released two days prior, I believe, until the actual banners come out. If I remember correctly, two days before the banner comes out. So yeah, Tekajida is coming Thursday, and Fuse Arms to Zenkai is coming tomorrow. So... That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from Atlas of Legends. Hope you guys save the Dragon Stones for Tech Gogeta and AGL Go Tanks. And that being said, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Game on. This is Professor Legends. Over and out.